A little DIY on a Sunday afternoon. It's kind of nice, cool out today, sort of, kind of. Um, so we're still putting Model A's together, quite a few of them. I may throw some scripture in here because it's Sunday afternoon. Uh, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy, of course. Um, so we got the power windows here. Uh, what I did next, I put a channel in here and clean this up because there's going to be a belt on here. This is where the window is going to go up and down along that. You want to have that clean and nice. What we're going to do is I was going to prep it and show you. So I'll just kind of show you what I was going to show you without showing you exactly the way I was going to show it to you. So we use this kind of channel. You can get it. Uh, actually, I didn't have any. We ran out, so I got it at Lowe's real quick, but we get it in 20-foot sticks. So what I'm going to do after I get my window in. So I need to get my window in power window that is and you don't want the window to go, go down any farther than the distance of here to here so you want the window to come down just below the top of your door these are universal window tracks so you're going to have to cut it down some if I did it uh, like this first off it's so long it barely fits there don't even fit in there so I'm gonna have to do is cut it. And we got some patterns, we've done a bunch of them. So that's a 34, 32. So this would be for the Model A. Uh, just helps us to let us know. So what I'm gonna do, we'll roll that window down some. So that's down in the track area here. I'll cut it off right here. So it'll be that much shorter. I can bring this thing all the way to about there then. And then the back of it'll be sitting right here like you see. When we put it in, what we're gonna do, you want this tube to come up away from the latch. So we can stick it up under here, kind of grind that a bit, stick it into that, make sure you, know, you don't get no stuff or this is not too long where the, what'll happen, this little uh, spring, it's a wound spring, it goes along a gear in here and comes pushing through, goes down, the window goes up and down and it clamps onto that. What we're going to do is we're going to bolt through here and here, bolt through there, and we're going to bolt through right here. So after we get the power windows in, and I'm going to do that, we've got that uh, in various stages. This one I'm still doing a little Bondo in. I put some aluminum in there. And I've, I've taken all of my doors. So this door is going to have a regular outside door handle. You don't, you don't see any door handle uh, coming there. This one here has got our super secret spirit door handle. You can see it, it's gonna come out the bottom of the door. So you can reach under the door and just pull it there. You can see it pulls the latch down. You gotta make sure you put the latches so that they go down uh, for them to work. Got another door here. Just getting that one last coat of Bondo. So then before we put the skins on, and what I've already done is I marked and uh, we'll just repair this hole. But I marked a hole here and on the other side, right there. So when I set up the door, I knew where it fit on the car. I did that while it was up on the car. And then I could put the skin there and line up. Uh, if you watch the last video, I have a couple jigs. What I did, this jig was holding that aluminum together on both sides and we bonded it in with that. Then I knocked it out, did this. Now, after I get my latch or my uh, window regulator put in, what I wanna do is take a piece of aluminum here and bond it there and bond it on this side and I'll cut it down. That way, between where the windows are gonna go, it's gonna be nice here. It's gonna be nice on the top side also. And your window's going to have a good, good even track to go into. I think I got one out here. Why don't we go look at that? And while we're going, so remember the Sabbath. But then, if your ox is in a ditch, you know, who wouldn't get their ox out of a ditch? Just because it's the Sabbath. So you can see, it, it comes out pretty nice. You got both sides here. You can see on this side, upside down, whichever way. There it is. But it's pretty clean. 
and you can put some felt on that, both sides of it. The door opens, pushes it down. This one will have, oh, it's got, it's set up for outside handles. We just don't have the holes cut yet. So this one gets outside handles. Uh, this is a 32.5 window. So the problem with my ox, I hooked him up to this mill and I've been having him grind this, you know, it's going in circles and circles and circles of grinding the wheat. And he done dug himself a ditch all the way around that thing. So it doesn't really matter. He just got, he, just, he lives in a ditch. So I'm gonna have to figure out the scripture how to get that thing out of there and get it caught up. But anyway, this is a DIY, oh, we'll show you this. So we got dashes. So this is a Model A. The dash needs to be installed after the fact. And the same with the visor. So we put a visor up on here. This is the visor right here. So we're gonna bond that on. It will bond on like this. Do some body work around it. It'll be super clean. You can see on the my lace sedan, it comes in the mold that way. And I, I think I actually prefer the way we got it on the coupe. I kind of wish I would have done it that way. I'm going to build the mold for the, the sedan, but I didn't. So this one we've trimmed out. Pretty much have it ready to go in. So before, before it goes in, we have a metal framework in here. So you've got everything you can hang your steering column on and and uh, we, what we do is we'll bond that in here we'll bond it in down here along this area and then once the dash is in bond it in it'll look like something like this and then we haven't done any body work on here yet but we'll do some body work around that edge and make it nice and clean do some body work on this edge which we've not done yet make it nice and clean just bond it in and uh, that's how the dash goes I think I'll do one more DIY tomorrow. Will be uh, is Monday. We'll be putting the door skins on. Uh, we put the deck lids on. I haven't opened it yet, but we'll open that tomorrow. Show you how the deck lid came out, how we trimmed that around that. So we've got both our deck lids on, and uh, we'll get our door skins on tomorrow. Show you that process. Maybe we'll do two more two more on it we're pretty far behind on body still although we are starting to catch up if uh if you are wanting to do a diy car you save a couple thousand dollars i mean there is quite a bit of work and we have some model a's here's a sedan here's a couple more model a's a 30 a 2829 a 3031 uh the thing is they've got suicide doors all the metal's already in it so these are for sale if you want to tackle the diy yourself so there we go, that's it for a Sunday. I think I'm gonna go uh, uh, work on goats. My daughter's at the house and do my milking, so chores. Anyway, there's my DIY.